Welcome everyone. This video will demonstrate how Hitachi Global Active Device will help us to protect our Oracle database environment. This is the Oracle Rail application cluster environment. I will be calling it as a rack. And for the Global Active Device, I will be calling it as a GAD. Just for this video. In real time, there may be chances that the replication links between two storage systems has broken down. So we have considered this scenario for our demonstration. So here we will be breaking or stopping the communication between these replication links between the storage systems and we will try to recover our Oracle environment or we will try to protect our Oracle environment even though such a kind of situations occurs. So this is our rack and GAT environment. There is a site 1 and site 2. Site 1 has its own storage and two blades or two rack nodes are placed at site 1. Same, with, same is with the site 2. Site 2 has its own storage and two blades or two oracle rack nodes are placed at site 2. These four oracle rack nodes forms a single cluster. So it's a cluster over, a, over an extended distances. It's a single cluster environment. But storages are separate or storage allocation is separate for each site. A separate blade is used for hypervisor. This hypervisor will host two VMs. These VMs will act as a CCI that is command control interface which will help us to manage GAD pairs. Quorum device is taken from a separate storage system and this device is used in the GAD configuration. There are two fiber channel switches, one FC switch per site. We have placed distance emulator to emulate 100 kilometers distance. So logically site 1 and site 2 are separated by 100 kilometers. There are four FC connections per blade or per host per a rack node. And there are other four paths which goes to their respective remote sites. So here when we disable the replication link we try to simulate the disaster situation like the replication link failure and this failure will make the path failure, it will cause the disk failures, it will make the gap pairs in a failed state. So that's how and then there will be a connection lost or probably the data lost. So this scenario will demonstrate how we can recover from such a data losses, how we can survive, how our business will continue, business activities will continue even though there is a disaster situation, even though there is a situation like the replication link failure. Now here are the, these are the GAD components, I will not go into uh, very much details because this is just a one of the scenario. So we can refer other documents which are related to the GAD. So we will perform the hands-on here with the real GAD setup and we will fail the replication and we will recover from that. So and we will demonstrate how we can recover, how our database can be recovered from the failure situation like the replication link failure. This is just one of the scenario. Okay, we will proceed for the next now. We are using the Hitachi Dynamic Link Manager, it's HDLM for the multipathing configuration or multipathing. So we will be checking the multipathing state, we are checking the HDLM path status. 
to make sure that all paths are working fine paths are online no issues are there with the path so we are just verifying the paths okay okay so no issues are found so far okay now next step will be to check the paths on rest of the machines so we have checked the paths and paths are online so this is the hdlm path status check let us check the get pair status now so we'll be using a pair display command on the pair management hosts or the cci hosts we have separate pair management host each site so we'll be checking if pairs are in good condition or no so all pairs are in good condition let us check the rack status now looks so all database resources are in good condition starting swing bench now so swing bench is started we are using 20 connections and those connections are going to the all of the rack nodes so swing bench is started when there will be a failure there should not be any connection lost for the swing bench and transactions should continue on the surviving site on the surviving nodes that is the expected behavior next step is to disable the replication ports so port number 6 and 12 are being used for the replication so we are disabling it on the fc switch so add command on, on the switch so replication ports are disabled now now we need to observe the effects of uh, disabling these ports we are checking pair status now so we'll be checking the pair status using pair display command so it's so the p walls are in pair suspended states and these walls are in sws state so the errors are at second site now so all the nodes or database connection should ideally move to the site 1 and site 2 will be there will not be any ios on the site 2 let us check the connection status through the hitachi device manager storage navigator go to the remote connection and the this is the status it's failed now so it is showing the your remote connection properties so it is showing the failed status there connection is failed 3g and 4g these are the two ports used for the replication we we'll check the swing bench status now it should show the 20 connections now okay so still it is showing the 20 connections so all of the connections are alive okay swing bench connections are still working now 
and the connections from the swing bench have been shifted to the surviving site and no noticeable adverse effect is seen on the transactions transactions are going on and all of the connections are alive here okay the next we are checking the cluster status now cluster resources are in good state we will be checking the alert log as well to observe any error log or error message there into the alert log it looks like all of the connections are working fine data database is working fine even though the site 2 disks are out of the cluster or it's blocked ios are blocked on the site 2 disks so connections are moved to the site 1 and things are working fine till now let us check the log files on all of the four nodes so we'll check the log files also and hopefully no issue is there into the log file we'll grab the word error there okay no issues no issues observed so the disk failure occurred at the site 2 now for recovery will be enabling the switch ports so that the replication ports will come again so first step will be to enable the switch ports which we have disabled now the ports are enabled and we have confirmed that ports are enabled on the fc switch so it's it's done port is enabled we'll execute the pair racing command at site to pair management host and then we'll wait for the pair status to be in the mirror state so after racing command so it pair status is in a copy mode so we'll estimate some one minute for the syncing procedure and then then it will be in a pair status then so so it's in copy mode right now okay console font is enlarged okay uh looks like pair status is back now the add pairs are in the pair status console font is enlarged a bit for visibility okay so we need to shift to the site one pair management host and we need to execute the pair racing command again so that so swap will be doing the swap racing and then we'll wait for the pairs to be in sync so that all gad pairs will be in a consistent and good state okay status looks fine now p walls and s walls are in a pair state let us check the path status on the rack hosts so we'll use dlm hdlm command so paths are looks online the node three these are the four rack nodes okay so paths are online all of the paths are working fine let us check the remote connection through storage navigator it should be fine it should show green there 
okay so path is good now path is established again let us check the details okay so no issues with the path now checking the database so database resources are in good shape it's working fine now we'll check the swing bench the enlarging the font so still the connections are 20 that means all of the swing bench connections are working fine that's it we are done replication link failure scenario is done we have recovered from the replication failure so thank you all for attending the important video please refer these links for more information